Say goodbye, Bobby. Say bye, Bobby. Yeah, that's right. You're a good boy. You're not going to get eaten. What's up, my immune friends? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Missed Survival. All right, guys. I've been doing a little bit of organizing off camera. I went ahead and finished all of these... Um, what are these called? Cabinets? Chests? Uh, I think they're called cabinets, right? Yeah, cabinets, all right? I made a bunch of cabinets. Now, this is what I was talking about with stacking the cabinets, okay? Now, we have two choices here when it comes to storage, okay? We can make three cabinets and stack them, okay? Or we can make a security locker, all right? Now, security lockers are way more expensive, like ungodly amounts of expensive. And I did the math. The cabinet actually holds more stuff, okay? The only thing that sucks about the cabinet is, and it takes up about the same room as a, as a security locker. Maybe a little bit more um, vertically or horizontally, but vertically, they're about the same. The thing, that's, the thing that sucks about these is you have separate storage, you know, like the... the um, the security locker is all one piece of storage, which, you know, makes it a little bit, a little bit more convenient. But I got to tell you guys, I'm a fan of the cabinet. I'm a fan of the stack cabinet. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be, we're going to be organizing with the cabinets. We're going to be trying to make a bow. We're going to have to deal with our water issue and we're going to have to plan out our base and organize. Now, last video, you guys watched last video, you know what happened. I lost some matches because I was throwing too much stuff on the ground. Okay. Now that's a problem. Um, so I want to get everything off the ground and we're going to have to do some organizing for that. So let's come on over here and this is where I'm keeping all of the wonderful, wonderful cloth. Um, wonderful is like I use wonderful uh, in a very sarcastic way. Um, cloth is kind of annoying. It's something you need, but like every time I look at it, I'm just like, ugh, you know, it's just cloth. There's nothing sexy about it. It's just, it's just, it's just cloth, you know? Um, <laughs> so that kind of blows. Uh, well, what else? What are you going to do? All right. So let's go ahead and I'm going to keep the nine millimeters or anything. I don't know what I'm going to do with that one yet. This is my food chest. Um, where am I putting sugar? I believe I was putting sugar in this one for now. Yep. Yep. So this is where I'm going to put some sugar and some salt. Uh, we need the bow because I want to go out looting. The thing is, I don't want to go out looting without a bow and a quiver. In order to make the quiver, we're going to need a lot of rope. We'll get into that in a minute. But I don't want to go out and do any uh, any kind of looting without the bow. The bow is my bread and butter when it comes to fighting uh, zombies and possibly any... Um, well, I'll probably use guns against the, uh, against the bandits. Yes, there are bandits out there. I don't know how many of you this game's new for but um first of all if you are new to this game this game's phenomenal um the, 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 it's got a one person development team i think he hired maybe another person but it's either a one person or you know or like two person development team you know it's a very very small team right and um the problem is that the updates are a little bit slow in coming uh so it's you know it's, it's getting a little bit long in the tooth with this with this recent update but i have faith um i think the developer's gonna do good stuff with it Should i suggest you buy it how much is it is it like 15 bucks uh, you guys i I tend not to try and give advice because, like, everyone has different, you know, opinions on what games are good and what aren't. So I don't want to steer someone towards this game and then they end up not liking it and then being pissed off at me. Um, so I, I don't, I don't tend to say outright buy this game, right? So why don't you do me a favor? Or do do me a favor. Do yourself a favor. And you know what? You don't even have to watch my videos. Watch people's videos on the game and make up your mind on if this is the kind of game for you. If you don't know what this game is, it's an open world uh, static map. It is not. It is not pre procedurally generated random map. It's a static map. Um, it's not voxel based, which means you can't dig into the crown, you can't break stuff, okay? Um, but it's it's got bandits, it's got infected, um, the infected come out during the mist and, and try and get you, it's got food, thirst, you know, the whole nine yards, the map is awesome, you can get vehicles, I got this truck, you know, you can, you have to find the parts, put the parts in the truck, tires, engines, all that good stuff, fill it up with gas, um, there's cars, uh, you know, like I said, just watch, watch the series, um, that's the best thing you could do. Uh, and if you absolutely gun to my head, say, Cage, I want an answer, damn it. Stop freaking stalling. Should I buy the game or not? If you like survival games, I think this is a must-buy. But but I strongly suggest, strongly suggest you watch videos on it. Because who knows? Maybe your idea of a of a of an awesome survival game is different than mine. So uh, watch videos on it. And I'm not just trying to sell myself here. Watch other people's videos if, if you must. Um, although I'd prefer you to watch mine, but, you know, it's fine. Anyway, um, so yeah, let's get to work on some storage here. Uh, we got some, right here. We got we killed the bear. We got a drying rack. Um, we got a bunch of stuff, a, a bunch of food on it. I just picked up a piece of food. That was a mistake. Um, so let's put it back. We got a bunch of food here drying on the drying rack. It's all raw, but it's oh here's some dry meat. All right, so we've already got some dry meat. The little percentage thing down here is how long before it spoils. 
food does spoil in this game, and yeah. Okay, well, there you go. All right, so let's go ahead and... I want all this stuff off the ground. This is my number one concern. What did I just pick up? Did I just pick up matches? No, I think I picked up rifle ammo. I did a good I did a good looking around. I'm pretty sure there's no matches in here, but you know, you never know. Um we need a boy storage, right? Freaking storage. Oh boy. This is uh, this is going to be a long one. I think I just picked up matches. I think I just picked up matches. Son of a bitch. I had matches the whole time. What were they? They were like under something. I'm going to have to watch the video back. All right, guys, I watched the video back. I don't know. The matches were there. I don't know. <laughs> I guess I just missed them the other yes, uh, last video. I don't know. Well, I'm, I'm glad they didn't disappear. I'm kind of annoyed I wasted a lot of time last video, but, uh, you know, I'm glad they didn't disappear. Okay, so uh, let me take you through my inventory management really quickly, and then we're going to we're gonna go collect some material. All right, so this is definitely a thing for rags, but there's a lot of space in here not being used right now, and I don't have any room for this stuff, so I'm just going to kind of throw stuff in where there's room. Again, this is for sewing kits, but you know, we got some room in here for other things. Um, that's for pills. We, we're going to keep everything we have on us for a reason. Um, and those are where the bottles go. This is where the sugar and salt goes. Uh, this is where the food goes. Um, let's take one of these with us. Um, and let's take one of these sodas as well. We have a little bit more drink than I thought, which is good, but we're still going to get water today. It won't be that hard. Uh, this is just a random crap chest, you know? Uh, and then out here, I'm gonna leave, I'd like to leave three of these in the car at least, but I don't have three, so maybe we'll pick another one up along the way when we finally do get out to looting. I'm stuck. Can I duck? Yep, there we go. Alright, um, yeah, so when we finally do get out to looting, you know, uh, that'll be good. Uh, we'll, we'll grab some more of these. Um, I, I do eventually want to put security lockers in there, but I like these lockers because they're free, right? So that is pretty sweet. Um, what do I have, what do I have planned for this base really quick? Okay, so, I'm not really sure how I want to do this. Do I want to just fence in the entire thing? Zombies can't get over this fence, can they? But I like big walls, that's the thing. So, um, my idea is to just block out this fence and to keep the zombies out. The problem is, the fence might be too large and I'm thinking, I'm thinking the infected will spawn inside the fence. That's what I'm thinking. I'll have to... You could break this, by the way. Um, at least I, I think you can. Yeah, you can. Uh, for resources. We'll do that at some point. We're going to do that with a sledgehammer. Um, but not right now. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to kind of think about how I want to do this. I definitely want to work with big walls. And I want to leave plenty of room for building. Because one of the problems I had last uh, last season, I did not leave plenty of room for building. Um, you know, maybe I'll stream this world at some point and make some plans. I'm not really sure. I'm going to, I'm going to take my time and plan things out a little bit better this time. Uh, because last, like I said, last season, I kind of didn't plan things out right. Um, I could just cut this off right here, cut this off right here with a wall and then just leave this as my area. The thing is, again, if I, if I have within this fence, I'm pretty sure infected are going to spawn within the fence. I can almost guarantee it. So maybe I'll just cut it off right here. I know Game Edge is living here. Can you guys tell me? Did, did, would, it, would it have Game Edge handle this? Did he have problems with zombies spawning inside? You know, let me know. Um, oh, another thing I want to do, and I don't know when we're going to get to it, but this fence right here, I'm going to take this fence out and I'm going to build it in the door to deal with the infected in there. Um, I built the fence in, in, the bad, in a bad spot, basically, which is what the problem was. Okay, so, um, yeah, you know what? Let's go get some... We, we need we need rope, okay? In order to, or lashings. In order to make lashings, we need tree bark and leaves, okay? So we got to cut down a lot of trees for that because I believe actually we could just place the item right now. It's a um a drying rack, right? I'm gonna put it outside as well because I can. Uh, I believe a drying rack should be outside. I mean, shouldn't it be in the sun? Isn't that the idea of a drying rack? Uh, tanning rack. Sorry, we already have a drying rack. All right, so I'm thinking it goes like this. That's pretty good. And yeah, we need six lashings for that. Oh my god, that's gonna take so much materials. Um, well, you get you get uh, la you get lashings by you know uh, by leaves. You get leaves by breaking you know out trees. And trees breaking out trees sucks because it drains your stamina like a mofo. So I'm gonna show you two tricks. Two tricks, guys. You're gonna get two tricks for the price of one. That's what you get in a KJ for a video. So I'm going to show you two tricks. So what you're looking for is, first of all, you're looking for these trees, these like dark bark trees, I guess pine trees. And you're looking for ones that are close enough to, oh God, there's three here. You're looking for ones that are close enough for you to hit with one swing. And I think that's pretty good right there. So um, now that we found the tree to cut down, we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a chair. 
Now you might be thinking, you know, Cage, have you lost your freaking mind? What the hell do you need a chair for? Well, that's a hell of an attitude for you to have, imaginary commentator. Um, no, I've got, I've got plans. I've got plans. But for now, we're going to have to grab a hammer because it's hammer time. That's right. It is hammer time. Man, look at my inventory, dude. Like, I'm, I'm only five spots away from max inventory, and I haven't even tried to find inventory bags yet. So that is really, really nice. Let's go ahead and save, save off, and pretend it's like Fallout. And save often, and not fall out the um, the most recent one. Like I mean, the good fallouts. All right, so will we be able to hit all of them? Uh, I think that's all of them right there. Pretty sure. Yep, that's all of them. Now I haven't hit all of them equally, but you know that's okay. All right, so now we're low on stamina. Well, you know what? That's why we have the chair. Let's just go ahead and sit down for 15 minutes. Now, when your fatigue gets too low, you won't get stamina back as fast. So you can see right there, my stamina is not coming back fast enough. That's not going to work for me. That's not going to work for me. So what we're going to do is we're going to finish cutting down these trees, but we're going to go sleep. You want to keep that fatigue up. That's it. That's a really cool mechanic I, I don't see in other games because a lot of the other games we play, they're all like, you know, everything's got to be multiplayer. And a fatigue mechanic is not going to really work in a multiplayer because people can't sleep because it's a multiplayer server. How are you going to, you know, pass time on a multiplayer server and people want to sleep, you know? Uh, they did it on Minecraft. Everyone has to sleep at once, but that's, you know, that's only if everyone agrees to it. And that's not, you know, that's not usually going to work uh, if you're playing on open servers, you know. So, yeah, I mean, uh, that's, you know, a lot of people want this game to be multiplayer. And, you know, I'm not, I wouldn't say no to some multiplayer, but at the same time, not at the expense of single player. And if we get multiplayer, you know, or if, if this game start off as multiplayer, they might not have put the sleep mechanic in. And I love, absolutely love the sleep mechanic. So I'm a multiplayer guy as well. I love multiplayer. I love playing with my friends. But at the same time, you know, in some games, you just can't do it. It just doesn't work. So, all right. In order to get all our fatigue back, we want to sleep for eight hours. But it's almost it's almost nighttime, so I'm only going to sleep for three. And then I'm going to continue chopping down trees, guys. Let me, uh, let me go ahead and get all that lashing so we can make that tanning rack. Well, that didn't even take very long, guys. I thought that was going to be like some kind of big production. I mean, it took a little bit of time, but not really that much. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, chop some of this wood into planks and then finish up the drying rack. Let's get some of this uh, bear stuff on it. Now, again, this is going to be for the quiver. You can make the bow, but I think you can only make the basic quiver, uh, right? Is that, is that right? Um, yeah, we need to make a leather for... Oh, so you don't, you don't need it for the basic quiver, but that only has one storage slot. You really want the leather. You really want the leather. And then we're going to make the basic bow. We could upgrade this. What does this take to upgrade? Oh, we could... We can actually upgrade that. And maybe I will. Maybe That way we can make the better bow. I don't remember what the better bow takes, though. All right, well, let's go ahead and get the leather. I think I put it in here. And I'm going to throw the other one on the ground. I'm not going to worry about throwing stuff on the ground as much anymore because apparently nothing disappeared. I didn't lose the matches. I just didn't know where they were. And look at that. The leather actually shows up. And it just takes a long time to dry. So actually, you know what? Thinking about it, we're probably not going to have the bow today. Uh, or at least not the quiver. That's a freaking shame now do i want to go out there with the i guess i'm gonna go out there without a bow I, I i guess i can make the regular quiver right i mean well you know what let's upgrade this first let's go ahead and upgrade this we're gonna need a few more of these we should also actually you know what let's stop that let's go ahead and do we have what we need for the saw bench now you might be thinking well, okay the saw bench takes power right you don't even have a generator oh the saw bench takes gears all right i'm gonna hold off on the saw bench i don't have the uh, components anyway yeah we're gonna go do some looting today I think I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to the neighborhood, and um, we're gonna t we're gonna we're gonna go over the neighborhood again, and uh, it might not get it done this video, but we'll get it done between this and next video. I want to go through the neighborhood like with a fine tooth comb because I went through the neighborhood, and I didn't quite you know check every little thing. I was kind of in a hurry to get matches, so I think we're gonna head back there. So, all right, there we go, and let's upgrade this. Proceed. Now this is gonna allow us to make the better uh, crafting bench. Uh, or the better uh, bow, which will be awesome. So, let's see what the better bow takes. Oh, yeah, you see, that's not even that much more expensive. Like, oh, it needs a bunch of lashing. Well, this needs the same lashing. Crap. Damn it, let's make some more lashing. I really want the bow. Do I want the bow today? I'm not going to use it. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to make the bow and the crappy quiver, and we're going to use that. I want to have. I want to have the bow and the quiver and the arrows for this episode. So, you guys already know, because I'm probably going to use it for the thumbnail, but I'm just kind of thinking to myself. Alright, well, let's go ahead and get the rest of the lashings. 
Yeah, you, be, you might be thinking, Cage, you got freaking logs lying around everywhere. What the hell? Do you, do you, what are you going to do with all these logs? Don't worry, guys. Don't worry, guys. Once we start making the big walls, these logs will be nothing. They will be a drop in the bucket, okay? I just hope they don't disappear. I really do. Um, now, those matches didn't disappear. I thought they did, but they didn't. So, that's fine. But, man, I really hope these logs don't disappear because I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you. Look at look into my eyes. Look at my face. Do you see how serious I am right now? All right? It's going to... Trust me. Just trust me, okay? You're going to want all those logs. Unless you don't want to build walls. But, I mean, come on. Who doesn't like to build walls, you know? All right. So, let's grab the animal guts. Okay. And this stuff's all dry now, which is great. And we still have... I mean, that bear is going to feed me for quite a while. I mean, we still have the, the meat in here. Although, it's, it is down to 24%. But I'll bet you we could eat both of these pieces before they go bad. I'll bet you we can. As a matter of fact, let's grab this. Let's put this up here. Can food you eat last? For obvious reasons. It lasts forever. Uh, wait, did I not take the... Wait, are they not done? <gasps> the animal guts aren't done? Oh, man. Seriously? Wait. They've been on there for a long time. That is what you do with the animal guts, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it is. Look, they're even hanging on there. Um, hold on, let's see. Come on. I can't really see the... You can see how, like, long, far away... Oh, God, only 35%? All right, guys, I apologize. No bow today. I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, well, I could sleep through the night a bunch of times. I mean, we have the meat, right? Why not? Why not? Let's... Okay, that's actually a really good idea. Okay. So the guts are at 36%. And this is at, like, 20? 16%. Let's sleep 12 hours and see what it does. I mean, I got the food. Why not? Normally, I wouldn't do this. Normally, I would just do something else. But since I'm making a video series, I want, you know, I want done what I want done. So, oh boy. Okay, so now it's dark. We could do something else. We're going to make some standing torches in here. All right. I don't, have a, I don't have a lot of materials for both of them. But we can move them later anyway, so it doesn't matter. Let's just go ahead and make them. I've got plenty of sticks. And these things run on biofuel, which is cool. Um, so add the fuel and turn it on. Ignite. E. Oh, I need uh, matches for this, don't I? All right, where are my matches? I wasn't going to turn on the light until I was ready, but uh, did I put the matches in here? In here? Yep. Okay. All right, ignite. There we go. And then we're going to build this one and ignite this one. We could build a few more in here, too, as a matter of fact. Uh, Q. There we go. And light. And the cool thing is you could turn these off, right? We're going to build two more. We're going to build two more. The cool thing is you could turn these off. Now, there's another uh, light source you could do in, in here. Like, it's like a burning barrel. But the problem with the burning barrel is you can't turn it off. So, not a huge fan of the burning barrel. You know, once you've, li once you've lit it, there's no, there's no putting it out. Um... Okay, so what am I looking for? Oh yeah, I'm looking for. I think it's in this in this one right here. Yep, we're really running low on resources, man. Next video is gonna definitely have to be a looting video. We probably won't get any looting today, unfortunately. All right, so there we go. Q, please, and light it. And then four will be all we'll need in here, and then we'll have light sources. It's cool. I just gotta remember to turn it off before I go to bed. Kind of like the, it, it. That's kind of how the generator works too. So there you go. Look at that, right? Four of these. That is pretty sweet. Although it is getting light out. No, it's not. It's not getting light out. It's still 3.40 in the morning. That's really good. I might put one or two more in, but, you know, that's really cool. I like that. That makes me very happy. All right, so we slept 12 hours. Let's see where these are. This was 36%. Oh, God. 36, 46. My God. We're getting 12 hours, two days, um, 20%. We're going to have to sleep another three days to get this stuff done. All right, so that's going pretty good. Actually, the um, uh, the guts are taking longer than the. All right, we're just getting. How long can you sleep for? Actually, let's eat before we do. It. Nah, whatever. Let's sleep for another twelve hours. How, how long can you um, how long can you sleep for? And also, the guts are taking longer to dry than the than the than the hide. That's very odd. I didn't think that would work like that. Two percent. We barely made that. We might have to. We might have to eat the other ones now. Or well, whatever. I guess they could go bad. Eating them when you're not hungry doesn't do you much good. I don't want to lose that one. Uh, oh boy. 
Uh, you know what, guys? This is a good time to do the water. Let's do the water. All right, so in order to do the water, part of the reason, one of the reasons this place is so... Oh, I let these freaking burn... Damn it, Cage, you freaking numbnuts. Ah, stupid. I was just talking, I have to turn these damn things... Okay, go easy on yourself, Cage. You got a lot on your mind. Okay, so one of the reasons um, building in this area is so freaking cool um, is because we have water next to us. One of the reasons. Um, oh my God, I don't have components. All right, well, I'm going to show you how to get components. Uh, the best way to get components right now is to break open one of these things. Uh, let's break the car, because I think it's easier. So I don't like to... Uh, actually, is this easier? Eh, they're both about the same. What I don't like breaking these with the axe, because um, you get a sledgehammer later. Actually, not too much later. Oh, wait, no, actually, the sledgehammer is quite a bit later. I need to go to the, I need to go to the uh, mine and mine ores for the sledgehammer. Yeah, you're right. I won't... You're right. Cage, who are you talking to? Anyway, I'm right. Um, <laughs> uh, I won't have a sledgehammer for a little bit. So, okay, so that's fine. But I do want to get a sledgehammer. Actually, I forgot about that. That means the, the mine is going to have to be a priority. Boy, so much to do in this game. I love this game. So good. So freaking good. Uh, what the hell was I doing? Oh, yeah, I was making a bucket. So let's go ahead and make a bucket. Craft yourself. Don't worry, guys. I won't be crafting myself for long. Well, actually, I probably will be crafting myself for a while. I have to go to defeat bandits um, before I can stop crafting for myself. Um, what you do is you go to uh, bandit hideouts and you kill all the bandits and then there's going to be a, uh, people there to rescue. There's three people in the game. Kate, um, Scott, and Rachel. Okay, so put that right there. Come in here. Uh, v. Put the bucket over here. Fill it. It'll hold 10. Make sure you take it out because if you don't take it out, it'll stay in the water. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. You could just go in the water and get it, so not a big deal. But anyway, you put it in here, and you give, and this thing can hold 10 buckets full. And that's how you uh, get water back to your base. And, um, you know, if you don't have if you don't have a, a water source really close, I mean, you just throw this stuff in the back of your truck or car or whatever. And well, I guess you can't throw this in the back of your car, so uh, you really want a truck. Um, you know, but you just drive out to the water source, fill this up, and you're good to go. I mean, having a... Ah, uh, damn it. Yeah, there we go. Having a water source close to your house is pretty cool, but it's not overly necessary once you have a truck. So, well, that really pisses me off. I don't even know how I did it, um, but I dropped the bucket into the lake. And even though I was only like ankle deep in the lake, I couldn't get the bucket back out. I think when I was dragging it around, I accidentally clicked it off the side and I lost the bucket. So I had to get a new bucket. And then I got annoyed. And even though I'm only 40 liters high on this, I got sick and tired of moving buckets back and forth. And then I was like, screw this. <laughs> Let's get back to base, man. To hell with this. I don't need this in my life. Um, so we're going to go ahead and grab some fuel out of here, some of this biofuel that we've been collecting. And we are going to fill these up. And please, please try not to leave them on this time. There we go. And there we go. And there we go. Okay, now we got some light. Bobby likes it. Bobby gets scared when, when there's no light in here. So, all right. So now that we have this here, we uh, we need some firewood. Firewood's not going to be a problem at this point. Not with all these logs we have. That's another thing you need a lot of logs for. Not just walls, but firewood. So, let's go ahead and grab this. And we're going to go ahead and start the fire. And we'll put that in there. Remember to put the fuel in this time. All right. And there we go. And then we're going to come on up here. What are we doing? Oh, yeah, water. We need to boil it. That's what we're doing. Um, oh, you don't boil the water in here. You make a distiller. That's right. That's right. We need a water purifier. Do we have what we need for it? We do not because we wasted all our freaking resources on buckets because we threw out a damn bucket. Oh, boy. Um, Yeah, I need to make the water purifier. Oh, we need a bucket for the water purifier as well. That's just... That's just that's just dandy. All right, uh, let's put this over here, and then we'll put this over here. And uh, well, why not? Let's go. Let's go bash up that car and get some more resources. I just, I'm really, really aggravated at myself for losing that bucket. Like that's just. Mm. There's there's limited amount of resources. Well, technically, there's not limited amount of resources in this game. Um, the the things I need the most are um, components and scrap metal. Uh, is it scrap metal? Yeah, metal scraps. Um, and you get those. This is what we're going to get from this car, right? This is the thing we need the most. Now, you can you can actually make those out of ingots. And there's a mine. I'll show you the mine at some point. I don't know when. Probably not next video, but soon. Uh, but there's a mine. And the thing about the mine is you go in there and you can get the ingots and then you can make these things. But the problem is the mining is way too slow. It's boring. And I just, 
I'm not a fan of it. I don't mind doing it for a little while, but in order to get the amount of, you know, components and metal scraps you're going to need in the game, like you, you got to spend too much time in the mine, and I'm I'm not a fan, just not a fan. So, um, yeah, I don't like the mine. So there's that. Uh, we're going to need some more rocks. Um, but I, it's nice. It's nice to have the option if if I if I want to do it, I can. So I guess that is good. And then we're going to make another bucket for the water. Which we don't have the freaking scraps for. Of course we don't. Um, there's nothing to do with this. Uh, I guess we could extinguish it, but... Oh, no, you can't extinguish it. So, whatever. So we'll just let it burn. It's, just, it's giving it this extra light. Alright, I know I have more stones somewhere. Well, guys, I really thought we were going to get to the boat today. But I guess not. You guys knew because you saw the thumbnail. So you knew I wasn't making the boat today. Uh, yeah, we need some more of these tiki torches or whatever they're called. Alright, so let's go ahead and make the water purifier. Um, we're still missing that freaking mother effing iron, and I don't... Oh, you know what I could do for iron? Um, I don't need all these pistols. So what you can do is you can go to harvest, and you can harvest a pistol for some uh, metal scraps and components. So that's nice. That's nice. I wouldn't normally do that this early in the game, but eh, whatever. How many pistols do I need? It's not like I can dual wield or anything. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and interact with this. Let's grab our bucket. We did make a bucket, didn't we? No, we didn't because we need even more metal scraps. Yeah, I need to do some looting. Like, for, for for serious. I need to do for some for serious looting. All right, guys. I went on the other side of that lake to get a car. I didn't realize there was a car right here. <laughs> but um, I looted, like, one can of food, one soda, and got the car. The reason I didn't record it was because it was dark as hell. So, all right. So, let's come on over here and let's make this long-awaited bucket and try not... I'm, I'm afraid I made a bucket already and I'm, like... Yeah, I did make a bucket, but it was used in the water the water purifier, so, yeah. Now, this is going to fall on the floor, right? Yep. All right, that's fine. All right, so let's just uh, throw that on the floor. Let's pick up the bucket, and let's, let's purify some water, people. That's what this is all about. I thought I was going to get to some looting today. I thought I was going to make a bow today. Nope, 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 nope. No time for any of that. We've got a lot of stuff. To we got a lot done today, though, so that's, you know, it's fine. Um, so we're going to give it water. I think this can hold six... Oh, you have to choose how much water to give it. You can't just hit the give button. I wish you could, but you can't. Now, I think this thing can hold 16 liters. So let's make sure it's filled up. Yeah, there we go. I mean, we've got a lot done today. We, um, we organized. We got the, we got our water taken care of. We, we, um, we got, uh, the tanning rack done. We, you know, upgraded the workbench. Yeah, we did, we did do a lot today. I hate that feeling like when you're done with a video and you're like, ah, what did I really do? I got a lot done. Got a lot done. All right. So let's go ahead and fill that up. There we go. 16 liters. I'm going to leave that in there. And we are going to need one more of, of course, the thing I threw on the floor. There we go. And distill. Now, this doesn't... Oh, it kicks it out. Okay. Now, this doesn't, like, have a certain percentage of a chance like the campfire. It just... It goes automatically. It's awesome. So, that's really cool. And that will uh, take care of our water issues. So, that is really, really awesome. Anyway, guys, I am going to have to call this one here. Next episode, bow, quiver, arrows... Looting. Boom. It's going to be awesome. I mean, you can't go out and loot until you've got your base of operations set up. I mean, you're just setting yourself up for disappointment like that. So um, I think this was a incredibly productive episode. Say goodbye, Bobby. Say bye, Bobby. Yeah, that's right. You're a good boy. You're not going to get eaten. Anyway, guys, if you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.